playing. Oh, God. What, I'm um, playing? What do you mean, playing? You can't play. You're not able to play. You well, want to play, you go and learn from the best baron player in the world. Who's that? Actually, it's my son. Go oh, away. Uh, where will I find him? He could be down at the pier now or something. Okay, I'll go get him. Uh, thanks. Okay? Yes. Yeah, cheers. That was Han Mooney, owner of Mooney's Pub in Ring Dungarvan. I'm looking for her son. So I'm here in Helvig. They speak Irish around here in Helvig, Dungarvan, and I was told that I'd find Danica. Some fishermen told me I'll find him if I go into his own bar in Dungarvan town. It's called The Local, so let's go find him. The baron is the native drum of the Celts. Some say it originated from the tambourine, but there's a painting by Daniel MacLeese back in 1842 during the Irish famine, and in it once he's a flautist, but also a baron. So, Donica, where is it at? It's up here, up in the attic. Come up and I'll show you. All my dead barrels are up here. The attic? Is it safe? Very safe. <laughs> oh, I hope I come back alive. You will? Well, you might. <laughs> So Dunica like the Baron. This is the Baron. It's an Irish drum, frame drum, made from goat skin. Yeah. Or sometimes they make greyhound skin. This one was made by uh, Charlie Byrne in Thorless. And he say he used to say that to break his heart, he said when he was up in the mountain shooting goats, sitting at the end of his twenty-two rifle and he could see a, go a goat running away and he couldn't get a shot at him. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they say the best goat was a low line goat, which is basically a goat that would be inside of a herd of cattle that would never be up in the mountain. So her, and she'd be eating lovely green grass all day. She'd have lovely skin. She'd have a soft hide. Yeah. yeah. And you use one hand on the inside. Yeah, you change the tone of the bar on, which are. Dunica, sure, can you hit anything and it gives a great sound? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a small little room. I got it for my daughter and she never played it. And this is, well, like, this is a talking drum. I don't normally play this now, but. Maybe. This is traditional drum bar on here, as you can hear. It's very tight. And, and what they used to do 50 years ago. Is, is wet the drum like that with water. I'll just leave that there for a second. How did they do it now? Today now it's all done with tuners. See these built-in tuners? Gotcha. And Allen keys. But you can still, of course, if you don't have a tuner or an Allen key, you can still pick and wet it, you know? So this isn't, listen to that now in two seconds. So what are you hitting it with? Well, I'm hitting it with barbecue skewers rolled up together. And is that the norm? No, the norm is a wooden stick. And are you hitting it with one side or two sides? The, the advantage of the stick is you can kind of do rim shots. Like. <laughs> so I remember a few minutes ago I put water on this. Yeah. Now listen to the difference in the tone. It's much deeper. Much deeper tone. Much nicer tone too. Jesus, show me that. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Everything. Catch it nice between your forefinger and your thumb. You're doing it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you go. all I'm missing is rhythm, right? Rhythm, yeah. Ah, Jesus Christ, ma'am. Will I be okay for the gig tonight? No, I don't. I don't think you'll ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> 